guys, today I wanted to do a first impression video on the Etude House Any Cushion. It's from their Precious Mineral line. I'm so excited about this because I heard so much rave about these cushion BB creams, CC creams, and I never tried this. It's my first one, so I'm really excited about this. So what it claims, it says this cushion pack perfects all day radiant and moist skin with its multifunction of brightening, wrinkle reducing, sebum control and flawless coverage. So I'm in the shade Natural Beige W13. It has an SPF of 50+, plus, PA3+. Plus. So yay, no extra sunscreen. I'm always happy if I can save time doing my makeup in the morning, so awesome. <laughs> So I want to talk about the packaging a bit. It comes in this cute like white compact and it's pretty sturdy plastic. When you open it you have the Etihad House cushion. It's supposed to be different than the normal pouch since it doesn't absorb as much product. It's pretty bouncy and soft. So when you open the lid, it has a sponge inside and when you press on it, the product comes out. It's really liquidy. So what I hope or expect from this product is that it gives me an even skin tone, covers up a bit of my acne scarring that I have going on here and here, gets rid of some of the redness on my nose. Um, gets rid of my under eye circles because I'm very lazy and I don't want to go back on concealer so for every day I really wish this will help me with my coverage and gives me a radiant look, glowy finish and moisturizes my skin. I've got combination to really dry skin um, I just get oily pretty much only on my nose and a bit on my forehead the rest of my face is just super dry. Right now I don't have anything on my skin except for toner, moisturizer and serum. Um, I got my make eye makeup done and my eyebrows. So what I want to do is put a primer on one side of my face just to see how the cushion will work with my pores, with a primer and without a primer, if it will get cakey with a primer and if I even need one or not. I'm gonna use the Benefit Professional for this so I'm gonna just go ahead and apply this on the left side of my face for you guys and for me right so i'm gonna zoom you guys in and let's get started let's just go ahead and use the puff and start on my cheek maybe it's a bit too light for me but maybe it does oxidize um, it is smells really fresh and feels really refreshing too. I really like the finish. It's so natural. Um, just very light. <laughs> it does cover up my acne scars, as you can see. And it has a very dewy finish, I'd say. But it does take a while to get this stuff on. If I just do fast pats. And it feels like you have nothing on your face. So I just finished um, applying the any cushion on my face. As far as I can see, it actually did a good job on my pores, even without the primer. It doesn't enhance anything. That's a very big plus for me. Well, it does look a bit better on the side, obviously, with the primer. So far, I'm very um, happy with this. And I just hope now that it will last all day. And it has a very like, I don't know, glowy finish. It's 
very soft and moisturizing, definitely. My skin feels so good and it feels like you have nothing on your face. Nothing thick, not too oily, nothing. It's very like airy and just bouncy and moisturized. Love it so far. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna zoom you guys out first. So I went ahead and applied some blush just to see if the any cushion will hold on to it. And overall it gives a very brightening effect. I can still smell it a bit but it did kind of fade and I don't mind the smell. It's like, I don't know, like a fresh smell? I don't know. Um, it's definitely not penetrating or anything so it's all fine. So I'm gonna check back in a couple of hours and see how it will work out and hope that it will stay where it should be. <laughs> See you! Hey guys! And I'm back. I forgot to tell you that I applied the ending cushion at roughly 1 p.m. and now it is 7.30. Oh, you don't even see anything. Okay, 7.30 p.m. and um, let's zoom in and check my face out. <laughs> so it has been six and a half hours since I applied the ending cushion. Um, so far, it caked a bit on the sides of my nose, came off my nose pretty much, and next to my brow and on my chin. Mm, the side where I put the uh, Benefit Professional is fine though, it's like, I don't see anything. I think it came off a bit, um, the color at least, but it didn't cake, so I don't, I don't really mind. Yeah, you can see a bit my acne scarring through, came off a bit, but I don't mind either. And my blush is still there, so that means the product is still on my face too. It came off a bit under my eyes, got into the lines. I guess you have, just have to set it with a powder and then... So far I love this product. It's definitely a light to medium coverage. I think you can build this if you just keep on patting the product on. Right now, um... I have pretty much good skin, fortunately I hope it will stay that way because there's been different times. So I'm hoping it will stay that way. Yeah, it's everything I wanted, just even its out skin tone, it feels very refreshing and moisturizing. Uh, perfect for my skin type, I have very dry skin, but I think if you have oily skin, you should definitely powder it and use a primer. Um, under it if you're planning to get this. I love the Air Puff, it's awesome. I think it actually does a better job than the Beauty Blender, in my opinion. <laughs> it, it's just kind of faster. It feels very fast because I'm lazy. <laughs> okay, I will definitely try other Cushion BB Cream, CC Creams or whatever. I love them, I love the idea, it's awesome. It's so convenient, you can just throw this in your bag and touch up every time. I will definitely keep this item near me. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you check in back soon. Bye!